hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be taking a look at the helium network we will take a look at what is helium the real world usage of the helium network how helium network works how to mine the HNT token HNT token which is the native token used on the helium network the pros and cons of the helium network and finally we have a look if it's still worth getting use, getting um, involved in the um, Helium network. Before we jump in, if you find any value in this educational video, all I ask for is for you to click on the like button. And if you already not subscribed to my channel, please smash on the subscribe button. Right, with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into what the Helium network is right what is helium helium is a decentralized wireless blockchain network that allows internet of things devices to communicate manage and transfer data over a network uh, so what are these iot devices these um, iot devices are devices that have the ability to transmit data over the internet that's what iot devices are but traditionally these IoT devices transfer this data over the network normally using Wi-Fi which has a short range and or they use telecommunication companies which are very expensive so they use telecommunication companies 2G's or 3G network this is where Helium actually comes in as it has a much more extended range and it's uh, much more cheaper to transmit data over the helium network compared to the um, using the telecom um, network <coughs> helium network manages to achieve this by using what it actually calls a long fi protocol which the helium network actually i believe they developed themselves it has the long fi protocol has a much more extended range up to 10 miles compared to bluetooth or wi-fi and at the same time, it's cheaper to transmit data over the Helium network compared to using the telecommunication network. And um, this um, protocol actually speaks or communicates with the IoT devices via the Helium hotspots. Um, we'll talk about this later on. The Helium network is cheaper, secure, faster than other traditional means of transferring data for IoT devices. Now let's move on to the usage um, of the IoT devices. The IoT devices could actually be used for tracking, so location and asset tracking. So you've got cars, e-bikes, scooters that could be tracked in real time, and they could all actually use the Helium network for transferring the data uh, down to wherever the data is needed. So you could um, actually track assets that are activated once they go missing uh, or with less frequent updates sent out on like real-time location tracking devices and um, they might only need to be activated to prevent theft or when lost so they could be geolocated and um, you could um, you look at things like smart cities as well so waste management uh, companies could actually use it for knowing when to pick up full beans Traffic management to ensure that traffic is managed optimally, sending the level of traffic to common center, and then the data is then used for managing things like traffic light system, with other things such as parking space management, and street light. You know, IoT devices could actually be used with a combination of Helium network to make a city much more smarter. You've got smart homes as well, so real time information could be sent to emergency services should there be fire or even medical emergency using the helium iot connected devices using the helium network so you've got things such as utility companies as well such as water company could tap into the helium network by getting notified when water pressures um a low water pressure is detected and they could quickly fix leaks and um so you could actually use some um, helium uh, for assisted living as well, for monitoring patients, patient health, monitoring the environment, and farmers, the um, use cases are limitless actually. And um, the um, Helium network will actually help in transferring data 
for these IoT devices and um, that's simply because um, uh, it's a lot more cheaper and it has a much more longer range than uh, the traditional you know Wi-Fi or or the um, telco which are which are a bit more expensive when compared to the helium network so how does the helium network actually work put simply you join the helium network just as you will have to join a telecommunication company if you want to get hooked up to using a mobile phone once you've joined the helium network you then buy data credits once you've bought your data credits um, that's all you need you just simply need to connect your device and once you've connected your devices your data um, will then in turn start getting transferred via the hotspot so as the helium network is decentralized you will need some sort of device to transfer this data from the IoT devices where the data is needed and in come the helium hotspot miner in tele um, telecommunication world you could compare these to the um, phone mast but with the miner unlike the phone mast they a lot they are a lot more cheaper and um, you earn some agency which is what the helium network uses for providing coverage on the helium network next we take a look at how the HNT miner actually awarded in the helium network so you earn some HNT tokens by mining and providing coverage for the helium network your hotspot mines or earns some HNT token by the work it does and these HNT tokens are broken down into the below categories the first one is the challenger so 0.95% of the total available HNT are distributed to challengers and uh, these challengers actually send encrypted messages over the internet to a group of hotspots. Um, a hotspot, as an example, in Poland can actually challenge a group of hotspots in the USA. They don't need to be close to each other and this is possible as a result of the challenge being sent over the internet rather than being sent over the radio frequency. And um, the next one is the proof of coverage, 5.3% 5, 5 of the total HNT available is actually um, awarded to this and these hotspots that actually respond to the challenges request so the challenger sends a challenge out the hotspot actually respond to this challenges request and transmits that proof of coverage packets sent by this challenger simply get rewarded for you know accepting this challenge put simply in layman's term a challenger says hello to a group of hotspots anywhere in the world and the hotspot should they respond to the hello and transmit the data to witnesses that they can see locally you know so i'm talking about these other hotspots that the miners can communicate with using the antenna radio frequency this time they then get rewarded for actually um, responding to that challenge and um, the next one are the um, witnesses and um, we have 21.24 percent of hnt reward awarded and this is distributed to all the hotspots that actually witnessed or participated in the proof of coverage challenge above in one of the proof um the proof um coverage challenge we mentioned um previously the um more witnesses your miner could actually connect to the higher your chances of actually you know mining more h and c so you have 21.24 of that our data witnesses and the next one is the network data transfer so you've got 32.5 percent of the total HNT awarded to this category and um and it's simply distributed to hotspots that actually routes the long file data on the network so if your um hotspots was to actually transmit or transfer data over the helium network it actually get some um, HNT reward for doing this and um, IoT devices that use you know uses this network they need your hotspot to transmit data and should your device be used for transmitting the data packet you get rewarded in HNC for the data transfer you have um, something else called the consensus group but I'm not really gonna discuss it here simply because come August the 1st miners wouldn't actually get the spoil of actually being part of the consensus group um, all of this is moving to validators so if you want to know more about that simply check on the helium um, website I'll leave some link in the um, 
description comment below if you um so wish to actually um have a look at how the um helium reward is actually split up into different categories next um we have a look at the pros and cons of actually you know joining the helium network um so let's um just take a quick look compared to traditional providers helium is a lot more cheaper for business to businesses to use for transferring data packets from their iot devices um also as a cheaper cost of entry also helium has a cheaper cost of entry for individuals trying to host the hotspots with prices starting from um, on, on average about $500 per hotspot. Helium has a quicker return on investment taking up to a month for ROI for some hotspot for some hotspots or even lesser depending on your location and the number or the number of witnesses and um, we've seen some insane results um, for people that started mining a couple of weeks and they've actually you know make their money back times two or times three simply because they were simply part of a consensus group so you have a quicker return on investments on helium and helium has actually partnered with a um, couple of big companies so salesforce is one you've got lone star you've got noble system again more details on the helium net um, on the helium website and then um, you've got low energy consumption compared to other gpu miners and um, Helium has a longer range using a long fire network for reaching IoT devices again compared to you know using Wi-Fi and it's cheaper compared to using the telco companies using their 3G, 4G or 5G network and um, let's have a look at the cons so first thing is um, there are other competitors so there are other companies out there trying to use decentralized blockchain technology to challenge traditional telco and one of these is the MXC Foundation and I've got a video on the MXC Foundation and you've got something else called the Nudo just to name a few that uh, have um, a similar business model so there are competitors out there and the next thing is um, well the big tech companies the big tech companies they already trying to muscle into transmitting data for IoT devices though still limited but they are a force to reckon with um, and should they actually go all in you know it could be um, bad for um, you know startup like this or it, or it might be good but um, I'm sure some of you would have heard about the Amazon sidewalk and um, trying to you know transmit data using people's um, Amazon Echo or you know doorbell or ring and things like that and you've got the Apple tag as well though the Apple tag doesn't directly use the blockchain technology we however i've seen recruitment adverts out there for apple looking for blockchain developers and um i don't really see apple offering you some token to help transmit data but hey you've got the iphones out there the apple tag works somehow similar in that the tag uses the um, nearby iphone as a beacon for transferring data you know about about its location so there's simply nothing stopping um, Apple from you know using this for transferring data for the IoT devices you know but I don't really see um, Apple actually giving users um, the penny for the service but hey but the big tech companies actually entering this space is actually something to be um, aware of and again um, finally cryptocurrency is highly volatile since your reward is in the agency token and the agency token is um, actually um a cryptocurrency you know your earned reward could be um the reward could diminish you know right now i believe the uh, agency token is currently trading at 12 dollars you know in two three weeks time or even a day or two which is a long time in the crypto world it could go down from 12 dollars to you know five dollars or and at the same time it could actually go up all the way to you know twenty dollars thirty dollars you never know but it's just something to keep um, on the back of your mind now um, finally is it still worth it well that's the big question right is it still really worth it you know I'll be making a separate video on how to actually determine if it's still worth joining the helium network however I am not a financial advisor all of this is just for education and education and entertainment purposes only but I'll quickly run through um, what I believe um, or why I believe it might still be worth it for you or might not be worth it for you like I said I'll make a separate video um, however however I'll suggest you do your own research but on a higher level let's say 
come the first of April, sorry, first of August, um, which is when you actually have the um, first helium um, halving. You know, currently, in our current month, you have five million HNT token available to be distributed or used and mined by um, the miners. You have five million per month currently available for mining. And um, come August the 1st of this year, that actually gets reduced to 2.5 million per month. Now, um, say you have um, 120,000 miners on the network. We currently have about 85,000 miners on the network, but the rate of growth of the number of miners that are actually being added to the network is exponential. I believe between July and June, we had over 20,000 miners being added to the um, network. So let's say come the 1st of August, um, this is just a theory anyway, um, you have 120,000 miners being added to the network. If you um, divide that by um, 2.5 million HNT available for distribution, you have about an average, and that 2.5 million is um, for um, a month, you have an average 21 HNT that you could potentially mine in a month. And let's say HNT price is um, at $10. So you potentially making about um, $210 per month with a minor cost of about $500. So you can actually make your money back in, you know, in, in 2.5 months. Again, this is in financial advice. I'm just looking at this at a very high level, you know, 10,000 feet overview sort of. I'll be making a video, like I said, later on, on how to get a closer estimate using your own local data and, and on how much HNT, HNT you could actually um, make per month um anyways um that's all from me today and if you find this video useful please click on the like button and subscribe if you already haven't also if you think i've missed anything or if i got something wrong do let me know in the comment below thanks again for watching my video and have a great weekend and i'm out